Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be looking at the sorted set data structure that Redis provides. The sorted set is a data structure that allows us to store unique items but in an ordered way. The order of these items is determined by the score that each of the members of the sorted set has. Each of the members of a sorted set also has a rank associated with it. So this rank is very similar to what we may look at as an index in a list and let's go ahead and look at this illustration so you have an illustration of a simple leaderboard this is actually the most obvious example of a sorted set because it offers a natural way to order all the items based on their scores now we have all these members which are seven members and we have their scores and we also have their ranks which are basically the index indexes or indices of all of the members of the sorted set. Now, each of these members has a score and the order is determined by the score. And by default, we have an ascending order starting from the smallest to the biggest. And when you have items having the same score, their order will be determined by their alphabetical order. Now, that's why we have Julia and Leslie having the same score, but each of them has uh, each, each is ordered by the later. So in this case, we have Julia coming first and Leslie coming second. We're going to be looking at some of the commands that Redis provides that can be able to help us understand such a leaderboard. Now, I'm going to go to our Redis CLI right here. Now, I'm going to begin by running flash all. This is the command that you use to clear all the variables you may have in memory. And after running that, we are going to go ahead and create our leaderboard. So the way we create a sorted set is by using the Z and command or Z add. Now, then we provide a key. So the key is basically the name of the specific sorted set that we want to create. And let's just call this our leader, leaderboard. And when you have this leaderboard, you can go ahead and provide scores. Now, I'm going to be using the example that we have right here. So we're going to begin by James, who has a score of 100, and his index will be zero. So I'm just going to come and say, we're going to have uh, the score of 100, and then we provide the member, so this will be James. And once we provide that, we can see that our leaderboard is now having an item of one. We have been able to add one item to our sorted set. Now let us go ahead and add multiple items. So to do that, I'll say Z add, and then specify the leaderboard. And in this case, we shall have our scores. So we're going to start with George, who has a score of 120. So we shall say it's going to be George. And then we shall go to Jerry, who has 150. So this will be Jerry. And then we shall go and say Gloria, who has 200 and this will be 200, and then Gloria. And then she also has Brad, which has a score of 245. So that will be Brad, 245. We shall have 900 for Julia, and 900 for Leslie. So once we have this, uh, we've been able to add all this to our sorted set. Now let us go ahead and retrieve all of them and see the order with which they'll be organized. So to return all this, we can use the Z range command. And this takes in the case, so this is going to be our leaderboard. And we shall have to provide a rank or an index from where we're going to start. That is going to be zero. Now, since we have seven items in our sorted set, our last index is going to be six. And this will be from zero to six. And this is going to basically return all the items that we have within our sorted set. Now, we want to return them with scores. We shall just provide an extra argument, which is going to be with scores. And this will be showing us our sorted set. But our sorted set is going to be returned with the respective scores. Now, we see the score, the order of the items is basically starting from James, who has the lowest score of 100 going to Leslie who has a score of 900. Now another thing we can be able to see here is Leslie and Julia have the same scores, but Julia comes first and Leslie comes second because 
uh, of the alphabetical order by which these members are ordered. <coughs> now let us go ahead and try to see how we can do the reverse. Now if we want to maybe organize our sorted set in or retrieve items but in a descending order, we can use the Z range but in this case it's going to be a reverse so you can say Z range. When you press enter this is actually going to return our sorted set but starting with the item that has the highest score going down to the item that has the lowest score. Now let us also look at how we can be able to retrieve the ranks of certain members. Now the way we do that is by saying Z and in this case rank then we specify the key which is going to be the name of our sorted set so this is actually going to be the board and then we shall provide the member and let's say I wanted to retrieve the score of Leslie so that will be the, the rank it's actually going to be the rank and that rank is going to be 6 now keep in mind that the rank is basically an index now if we wanted to return maybe the one for James so shall provide James as the member and that will be 0 because James is at the first position in our sorted set. Let us go ahead and look at how we can return the scores. So the scores are basically the ones that we are using to determine our order. Now to return the score we are going to use this score and then provide the leaderboard and then provide let's say uh, the score for Leslie and this is going to return 900. Now if we want to return the score for James it's going to also return 100 and that is basically how we return the scores. Now let us say we wanted to increase the score of a certain member let's say they played the game and they won and their score within our leaderboard increased then we do that is by using the z increase by command. So this takes in the key which is the name of our sorted set it takes in the increment of the number by which we're going to increase the score so let's say 10 and then let's say we're increasing the, the score for the certain member so let's say that member is James now their updated score will be 110 if we wanted to reduce the score of a certain member within our set we're going to use the increase by and then specify the key in this case it will be our leaderboard and we shall go ahead and provide a negative value so let's say negative 19 and we're going to reduce uh, Julia's score so let's say Julia and then their score will be 881 so when you try to return our leaderboard with scores in this case our scores are going to be updated and this will be 900 and 881 and then James's score will also be 110. Now let us go ahead and look at how we can return items that are having scores in a certain range. So if you want to maybe count the number of members within our sorted set that have a score that ranges from a certain range to a certain range we can use the z count command so when you say z count in this case it can be basically taking the key so let's say leaderboard we can provide the mean and the max so basically these are the ranges so you can say we want to return each uh, member the, the count of each member that has a range between 100 and let's say 500 and this will return 5 now let us try to observe here if we're to basically check this out we have uh, James, George, Jerry, Gloria, Brad having scores that are ranging between 100 and 500. Now what if we wanted to return or we wanted to actually remove a certain member from our sorted set. The way we do that is by using the ZREM command so when you say ZREM can provide the key which is going to be our leaderboard and then we provide the member so let's say James and that is going to be one so if we try to retrieve our range with scores in this case we see that James has been removed from our list now these are the most common commands that may be associated with a sorted set 
and i hope you found this video useful if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video about redis bye